Hello everyone and welcome back to another devlog as I go over everything that is new since last time. Starting with all my items now highlight two slots automatically if they're two-handed. You can see these are one-handed, these guys are two-handed, so if I have a two things attached in here, a one hand and an off hand and I want to equip a two hand, it'll automatically tell me that it is going to take up both slots or at the very least it can be equipped in both slots. In the case of this new item, a finger sword. And you see down below in the center right here, it says dual wield. So that's right, I have introduced dual wielding. And you can see right there, I can equip dual wield. I can e equip and unequip one handers. I can swap these out. I can also swap the positions. You can see by the rarity, they're being swapped in both directions. Obviously I can swap these around. Um, if I click and drag it on top of itself, it'll swap as well. Well, that's one thing I don't want to happen, but due to how I have it set up for some reason, going in this direction, it detects the previous and the, and the new slot it goes from, but this way it thinks both slots are the same. So I don't know why, uh, but that's a bug I still have. But so there, here they are on my back and I can go ahead and equip them. And now I have a new combo system with dual wield. You can see um, I can also attack sideways. I can have a charge attack. And something to note um, in the top left, you can see my stamina is actually being depleted during attacks. So now each attack, depending on what kind it is, if it's a sprint attack, if it's a charge attack, if it's a um, heavy attack, uh, depending on which one it is, it will go ahead and use different amount of stamina. If it's a weak attack, it doesn't use as much. If it's a, a charge attack, it'll use more. Um, also, this, uh, this attack here actually uses a kick, so it doesn't use either of the weapons. It actually uses the foot as the hitbox. I can go ahead and use the full combo system now. Uh, there are still some bugs with it, um, some maneuverability bugs, and sometimes when I go in and out of combat, I think the combo doesn't fully um, work. Of course, now that I'm trying to show it, it'll never have the problem again. It only happens, of course, only when I don't want it to. But it is currently properly detecting both weapons and only attacking with the one I need to. Uh, that is also something that needs to be adjusted. As I'm realizing now, if he dies, that animation should not finish. <laughs> it should not do the damage on me. I'll learn from that for myself. Um, also, I do not have full a direction locomotion, which is why diagonally looks real weird. <laughs> So when it comes to the dual wield weapons, they can go into either slot, but I can also just put a regular weapon into my main hand. And you can see the regular main hand weapons, the non-dual wield ones, go onto my hip in the current moment. They don't go onto my back. So if I have one of each equipped, I still get the stats from the second one, but I don't actually use the second one for my combos. So this is um, right now set up where I can have a shield or I can have a weapon in my offhand. And clearly that is a bug that I forgot to fix. <laughs> uh, right when I changed up the... <laughs> yeah, so that works. But I think, yeah, when it's equipped, I need to adjust that. Well, you know, this is why everything's in development. But when I have one of each, it uses the stats from this one, but it still only does the attacks, combos, and everything from the regular main hand weapon. Uh, the offhand there is just for stats. And I kind of like that. You can have a, either one uh, effectively. I'm sure I'll figure out a way of having them from different uses. Or maybe I'll have it so only shields can be uh, equipped with the irregular one-hand weapons versus the dual ones. I haven't figured it out yet. For now, it's fine, right? I think for now it's fine. But other than that, we have some updates to armor. So you can see down the down here where the stats are, there's now an armor value. Currently, 
all chest plates are 50, all headpieces are 30, and all boots are 20. But what they do is they, of course, lower the damage I take. So if I come over here and I have this guy smack me, you can see how much damage I took. And now if I was to go ahead and equip these, and again, the armor value currently just adds up to 100, but if I come here and get hit again, you see I take substantially less damage. I only have one piece of armor. It's in between. It's a little bit less armor. Right. And of course, I can take the full brunt of it. There it is. Now, of course, the amount of damage he does to the amount of armor I have is not actually final in terms of numbers. This is all just um, nature to be uh, testing and all working together, but it all works nicely for that. But other than that, uh, there's a lot of back end stuff that I've been doing. Currently, this is unhooked. Basically, uh, if you notice when I equip items and stuff, it doesn't get updated. Uh, that is intentional just while I am um, going ahead and updating my entire stat system and how it works and making it more streamlined and effective. I've uh, detached this to uh, deal with a bunch of errors. So that's the reason for that. Uh, the UI is getting a little bit of a change because of it. Just make it a little cleaner. The XP bar is gone, uh, but it'll come back probably by next time as I need to uh, do one thing at a time. Sometimes it's better to uh, disable uh, features that you know are going to be reworked and then uh, come back to it after. So with that, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, consider hitting the like button, subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.